Keep your eye on this car. It's drifting across a busy intersection into oncoming traffic. The woman sprinting to help knows the driver. They work together. She realizes something is seriously wrong. It's a medical emergency. The woman behind the wheel is slumped over the steering wheel, but the brave friend can't stop the runaway car alone. You can see her waving frantically. That's when perfect strangers come together. First one, then two, three, four, a fifth, all hop out of their vehicles to lend a hand. Together, they stop the car. Then they try to open the doors to reach the unconscious driver. A woman finds a dumbbell in her car and gives it to one of the guys, and he uses it to smash a rear window and open the door. 911 calls start coming in. We have an elderly woman that is unconscious at the wheel. Is she breathing? Yes, she is breathing. There's a car. I think there's an incapacitated driver. They're trying to break into the car. The drama unfolded in Boynton Beach, Florida. The driver, Lori Rabior, a seamstress, says she took medication on an empty stomach and became dehydrated. That must be when I passed out because I hit a curb and then the car turned. That's when it went into traffic. I don't even remember leaving work. With her is Jeanette Rivera, the brave co-worker who ran after the runaway car. That must have been very scary. You're my hero. Another of the heroes, U.S. Staff Sergeant Juan Chavez. That's him running through traffic. Honestly, I just, I saw somebody that needed help and I just rushed to it. Uh, I didn't really think too much of it. I didn't really think too much about my safety at that point. Now, Boynton Beach police are appealing for all those good Samaritans to come forward to meet a very grateful lady. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I, I don't even know how to thank you. Thank God for people like you.